Hi, I'm Mark Bodman. I'm the IT for IT co-chair for the forum, and I'm also the uh, Cernia product management at ServiceNow. So IT for IT is a standard in the industry, and it's really for the business operating model of IT. It's a functional reference model that a lot of IT organizations use to look at how they run things from end to end. The nice thing about IT for IT is that it enables insights from strategic planning to um, developing new capabilities, to be able to put those capabilities out there to be consumed, and then last but not least is to operate on those capabilities. And those are all services, That's we call it the service model backbone. So IT for IT is very compelling as an IT operating model because it strings everything together that you need to do to run an IT shop from end to end. So a little bit more about IT for IT as a standard. It, what we found is it breaks down the silos that typically exist in the big IT organization. A lot of times you've got the development teams that are developing new apps to be used by the customers or internally. And then you have operations teams that are really focused on the operations of those applications and infrastructure to make sure they're up and running, for example. And what IT for IT is, does is help bridge the gaps between those teams and help flow the work that happens from that strategic planning point of view to, to construction to all the way to operations. Good thing about IT for IT, it doesn't replace existing standards, it really incorporates them. And what we found in the industry is that you'd have to learn a lot of individual standards from COBIT to PMI and PRINCE and Agile methodologies and operational methodologies. And it's just too much for one small company especially to learn and put together. It's a tool agnostic framework as well so that you can actually buy tools that plug into this framework and you can string along these integration points so that the work does flow and everything does connect between the different teams. So just like any other business, IT is becoming more part of the business as IT becomes bedded in products. And just like product efficiencies have uh, helped organizations grow and conquer markets, IT has become a big part of that. And so the efficiencies in IT to be able to understand where those gaps are, are from the work that needs to flow, the redundancies, if you have 10 different solutions that do the same thing in IT, why? Yeah, you have to question that. And I think the big part of that is to kind of match that model that the business has with the IT uh, systems and the processes that match the business model to deliver outcomes that the business is really looking for. So the great thing about the IT for IT standard and reference architecture is that we found that it's been very useful when organizations are looking at the tooling that it takes to run those IT processes from end to end. In many organizations, they've grown organically and they've either acquired other companies and they brought them together. And if you don't really rationalize on a continuous basis, you, you start to get these redundancies and disconnects where you have a tool in used in isolation for a certain thing, but it's, since it's not integrated anything, the, the flow of work stops. It gets caught in, and it's really hard to see where that is. What we've been able to find is that using IT for IT, uh, a lot of our customers, the folks that download the standards, they're applying it and rationalizing what those tools do, how they fit, how they integrate, what's the data model behind them. Are they generating the metrics to measure the value of IT? So, so the IT for IT framework as a standard being used in a IT tools rationalization use case was recognized as a very common, a common use case. So recently, we just last week published a new guidance document that takes you through how do I take IT for IT as a reference architecture and I rationalize the tools that you're using in IT. And there's a lot of different uh, tips and hints and, and things that you need to know to make that happen. And IT for IT is part of the equation, but there's a lot of other things that aren't necessarily expressed in the standard that this guidance helps to identify. So for example, identifying not only what applications you're using in each of these functions, but how much do they cost? Are they integrated? Do they have the data model that matches what IT for IT is talking about in its standard? And also, what, how do people uh, like those tools? Do they actually provide the functionality and, and they pro de deliver the results that, that your business and even internal users are looking for? So the IT for IT standard is really in a reference architecture that takes the key functions in IT and standardizes what they are and also tells you how they're integrated. Behind that is a uh, data model and the service model backbone that really forms what IT for IT is as a standard. 
It's being formed as a architecture that is used in operating models for many of the IT organizations that we talk to, many of the customers. So it's been really useful there and also being able to provide guidance around how to use it. We're able to solve a lot of business problems that have uh, traditionally not been solved within the IT organizations. So another key deliverable that we went through just recently is producing a reference model in the Archimate standard. The IT for IT architecture wasn't developed with a architecture modeling notation in mind, but now we have this architecture model in Archimate so that you can just download and implement it in your own Archimate tools. For the IT for IT rationalization use case, what we have is organizations that collect all their tools that they have for each functional component. Once they get them collected and they understand, let's say you have 10 different tools for monitoring, you're able to look at each of those tools and the guidance provides ways of looking at which one's better to keep or versus uh, the one that you want to get rid of. And in many cases, there's many tools being used for the same thing when, we, when customers first do, it, do this. And now it's a bit of a game to actually understand which ones do you want to get rid of by what criteria. Is it going to be cost? Is it going to be usability? Is it going to be your relationship with those companies that you're dealing with? So IT for IT is now provided in an Archimate model, which is a standard notation that enterprise architects use. This guide was just published and it allows you to download the Archimate model, start using it right away within your IT shop. Since it's tools agnostic, you can use it in any tool, doesn't matter, and we provide that as part of the standard deliverable. So we invite you to download the Archimate model of the IT for IT standard. The great thing is you can get that up and running in whatever Archimate compatible tool that you're using. We also invite you to download the guidance documentation on IT tools rationalization. Most IT organizations get value out of these guides right away, and I'm sure you will as well.